Don't worry guys, it's just two large bank failures. It's not a big deal. It happens all the time. It's not a bank bailout. They're just bailing people out. It's for the little guy, you know, Main Street, the guy that has more than a quarter million dollars of cash sitting in one bank account. The little guy. Like Gavin Newsom's portfolio of companies and, you know, his wife's charity. The little guy. But don't worry, the U.S. taxpayer is not going to be on the hook for this. Just anybody that uses U.S. currency. There's no moral hazard being set here. Just if your bank is big enough and the people that have money at it donate to a certain political party. Don't worry, if the FDIC can't cover it, they'll just borrow it from the treasury. And even though the entire country is dead broke, oopsies, they could just print it out of thin air. Not sure why they didn't just do that from the start, like it would cause inflation or something. <laughs> How money works and stuff. But don't stress, it's not like other major US banks hold these exact same bonds and the entire financial system is a house of cards. Don't be crazy. It's not like they're just gonna consolidate all of the small and community banks that were the best defense against the too big to fail banks that essentially run the world and get away with whatever they want forever. It's not like they're gonna use this to usher in central bank digital currency and social credit scores that will essentially keep all of the people of the entire world enslaved forever. <laughs> And if this bank failure didn't affect you, don't worry. The value of the cash you have will be inflated away.